I realize I should have started this kind of thing a while ago, but, uh, eh, better late than never, I guess. Ladies, gentlemen, the Legion of Dumb, welcome back to the Summer Random Dumbass YouTube channel. I am the Random Dumbass, and today what I want to do, I want to start a new thing. I mean, I've been getting some decent remarks on my hockey content recently, and I, uh, and with the help of some people, I decided to make it a regular thing. So, what I like to do with that is introduce this new series, which I like to call SRD Behind the Bench, which is basically not really a news show. What I'm going to do is take every take as many Sharks games as I possibly can. I'm not going to promise you that I'm going to do every single game, because I'm a student, I'm busy with other stuff. But I'll do what I can, okay? So, just relax. Um, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to, before every game and after every game, I'll film a little thing. I'll film reactions and I'll give my my two cents on what's going to happen. So basically what I'm going to do in this series is I'm going to give you my predictions and my pick to deliver. So basically just like CSN, if you, if you live around here. I'm also going to go through a simulation in EA's NHL 19 that I unfortunately am not going to be allowed to show because I don't have a capture device to capture it. And um, as for after the game... I will give my reaction to the game, and we'll see exactly how right I was, or how right I wasn't. So, that being said, let's get started. Unf only, the only unfortunate thing is the first game that I decided to pick was when the shark was, was the next game when the San Jose Sharks take on the National Predators, who are playing like gods right now. For those of you that don't know, San Jose Sharks' record is currently 4-3-1. And the National Predators are 7-1-0, so kind of playing pretty good right now, as you'd expect Nashville, for uh, President's Trophy winners from last season. At like, what, 120-something points? They stormed off with it last year. But one thing is for sure, that yes, they, aside from the fact they play good, one thing is for one thing is certain as of right now. Pecorene is on injured reserve list, so he will not be playing. Which should be a sign of like, oh, good, maybe we have a chance. You know, have a stud goalie in there. But here's the thing. It's not going to be like that because the San Jose Sharks, for those of you that know, have a, ser have a history of struggling against backup Yusei Soros. I see that man in my fucking nightmares. Um, so, yeah, Soros is going to be starting for Nashville. And um, ultimately, I think that's going to be the... That's going to be the downfall of San Jose Sharks. I do call me a fake-ass fan if you want. I, I realize that there are some games you just can't win. I'm going to predict a 3-1 to one loss, San Jose, one of which one of the goals is going to be an empty netter. So don't yell at me. So, yes, it will be a 3-1 it will be a three to one loss, just like it was on my 18th birthday last year. That was a... Uh, that was fun. Um, I went to that game. That was great. Um, that's a different story for a different video. Um, yes. So, now, my picks for the goals. At least for the Sharks. I don't really, I could give a shit about the National Predators and who's going to score their goals. Um, I'm going to pick Auntie Suomela. Yes. I want the finish, kid. Kid, he's older than me. Uh... <laughs> I want the Finnish guy to score his first career NHL goal against Nashville. Oh, they kicked my tripod. Whoops. Um, yeah, so obviously um, he, along with that, he's also going to be my pick to deliver. I, I want him to have a very, very good game. And like, like he's, been, he's been actually pretty good so far. He doesn't have a huge amount of numbers, to like offensive numbers to prove it, but... Like if you want the line with him, Don, him and Don, him, Donskoy and uh, Sorensen, they're actually pretty good. It's a it's a pretty good fourth. It's a pretty good uh, third line. So um, I actually haven't done the, the so that's my picks to deliver and my prediction. I don't have stats from the simulation yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I will come back to you with. Who scored the goals and who did this stuff? So I'll be right back. Well, 
then. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's EA's two cents on it. So I don't need to watch the rest of this anyway. So let's just go ahead and turn that off and we will break that down. So, um, EA Sports is NHL 19 predicts a five to two loss for the San Jose Sharks, which is a little unfair. I mean, come on now. But I will say one thing. The game started Pecorino because I couldn't change it to Soros. So deal with it, I guess. Um, yeah, so either way, they tell, they have, they predict the Sharks losing. But then again, what the fuck does that video game know? What the hell do I know anyway? The Sharks could win. Let's, uh, fast forward ahead to when the game is over and I'll, uh, and I'll review the game. Oh, and, uh, before I forget, uh, the two goals were scored by... Timo Meyer and uh, Eric Carlson. So they have Eric Carlson getting his first goal as a San Jose Shark on the power play too, which is uh, it's like a pretty good prediction to me. So uh, yeah, let's uh, fast forward to after the game and we'll uh, we'll talk about it then. Well, let me just start off this post game thing by saying I don't think I've ever been more glad to be wrong about anything. <laughs> so yeah, game's over. It's been over for a couple days. I'm filming this. Like, two days after it did after the game. So, uh, it's gonna be a little tough for me to remember, but I'll try my best. So, the Sharks take that one 5-4 to four in a thriller that was fun to watch from beginning to end. So, just I'll give, like, a, I guess I'll just give, like, a quick little analysis and, like, what I thought of the game. Uh, for the first two periods, it looked like it was all, all Nashville. They were getting all the bounces, all the, all the stuff that that let all the stuff that led to big goals it was what four to two going into the third or something i don't remember exactly but then like like i said in the chart in the in the in the vlog that i did i it's it's a it's a game of three periods not two and the sharks came back in that third period and they took and they stormed back they scored what two goals in like 11 seconds to tie it and then they, they took it in the end, and it was uh, it was good. Capitalizing on the power play too, two for five on the power play, which is pretty much where we should be every single game. Let's be fair for a second. Um, yeah, our power play unit is too good on paper to not be at least at like twenty five percent accuracy. Yeah, it's it's too good on paper to not be at least at twenty five percent, and um. Yeah, so I liked what I saw, but only thing, we need to clean up on discipline. Penalties, we're taking way too many of them. I think I'm not the only Sharks fan who's noticed this. I really hope I'm not, because if I am, then that just means I'm really taking this too seriously. But no, seriously, we really need to clean up on the penalties a little bit. We're taking a little too many. I don't remember if Nashville scored on any of the power plays. I think they might have scored on one of them. But yeah, it's still... It's still too many. I feel like if we can condense it like little by little to the point where our game is so clean, you can fucking see your reflection in it. I think that's I think that's where we should be. All right. So, um, oh, and another thing I wanted to do is I wanted to keep a little score. I wanted to keep a little tally between me and EA Sports just to see who who knows hockey better, EA Simulation Engine or me. So. The way that'll go for score, like we'll, we'll do like a point system and everything. We'll get we'll get a single point if we if we guess the result, and we'll get three if they get the if they get the right score. Nothing if you if you if you if you don't get it. So uh, if you don't get either, you just get nothing. So we're starting off zero to zero this week, and um, yeah, that was the Nashville Predators game. I will see you. Hopefully in a more timely manner for the Carolina Hurricanes coming. <laughs> Hopefully I'll see you later for the Carolina Hurricanes game that is coming up on Friday. I'll see you then. Oh.